as a senior lecturer, I teach mainly undergraduate students public policy. Um, so that means I teach them how governments work and how governments make things about how we live. I have two areas that I'm working on specifically around research. The first one is on renewable energy policy and I'm working with a whole bunch of people who are scientists and technology people who know all about that. I don't know about that, I know about politics. And we've come together to look at how we can help government transition away from fossil fuels and the kind of policy settings that government need to have to move that um, policy space along. It's great fun and for people who are really interested in coming to university and studying, you would learn from that the process of government and how government interacts with science and technology really to try and make life better. So that's one area of work that I'm doing. The other area of work that I do is on um, public sector reform. So if you think about what um, government agencies do sometimes, and renewable energy is a really good example, sometimes they are really slow at moving into the 21st century. So I do a lot of research on how um, people at high levels in the public sector can try and change that, what kind of ideas they can embed in their processes to move things along more quickly. Um, they're the, my main areas of research and I use both of them in my teaching practice for undergraduate students to show them, I guess, how policy is made. So the kinds of decisions that governments have to move through, the kind of information they draw on, the kind of I mean, if you look at the whole science world, the world of renewable energy, it's so filled with technology. But how do you then turn that into something that's political so that it then can be implemented in a policy space? It's actually quite hard to do. And also, I don't mean to be disrespectful to politicians, but they don't really understand technology at that you know real nuts and bolts level. So I like to take that approach, turn it into policy language to show students the kind of work they could do in future when they finish um, study. We had um, a couple of students who wanted to do the internship and there's a, a the government agencies put out um, problems, issues that they want students to work on. The whole bunch of students wanted to do this one project that actually came from the courts and it was about a review of a particular legal process and we had two students who were politics, law, double majors and there would have been, the woman told me, 15 students because it's open to all universities who wanted to do that project. So they had to write an application and she picked the two Murdoch students. She said, they were fantastic. They just come out knowing the language of politics, the language of policy, public sector process, and for these students, they knew legal process as well. So Murdoch students have fantastic reputations.